All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Let's continue the boar campaign for Steam and Steel Total War mod for Medieval 2 Total War. So we've expanded quite a bit. We defeated the Zulu. We took this rebel settlement over there, Bulawayo last time. But now we're dealing with a very formidable foe. Actually, the strongest power during this time period, the British Empire. Now we're lucky that they don't have much of a garrison here. They have some units here. They have cannons, which is going to be tricky. I have to hyper-focus on taking those down with my own cannons. And then they also have a fort here as well that I'm keeping distracted with a smaller army that I have. And if we can take this, I think we should be relatively safe from the British. I think they also have a small colony here. I think it's like Liberia or maybe, maybe Ghana, maybe both. They have a small presence in that area, um, but you know it's pretty far away and I'll be able to build up my army by the time we come in contact with them. But all their other colonies and holdings are very far away, you know, they're like in Australia, they're, they're in Canada, Europe of course, uh, and they'll, they'll be distracted fighting all these other factions. So as long as I can expand quickly enough, conquer most of Africa I should be fine and you know Africa has all these resources I talked about this I think in the previous video they have gemstones there's gold in this area and that reflects you know reality I think um Africa is definitely the most mineral rich continent even today even after all those centuries of this of taking out all those ores and mining them there's still so much left and I actually have a merchant unit here he is, William Kruger. He's generating, you know, a decent amount of money. And then eventually I'll be able to recruit... Uh, where is it? Yeah, another one. But so far there's a, there's a limit, so... Gonna have to boost that somehow. Anyway, without further ado, let's continue our expansion. Seizing more territory. And this is gonna be a really tough one. But I think we can do it. Just got to hyper focus on those enemy cannons. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, oh, wow. Quite a developed city. Even has a gate. So we're going to have to smash through that. Let's take a look. Very pretty looking. And then, where's the plaza? There's always a central plaza where most of the enemy units are going to be set. This, is this it? No. I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out once once the battle begins. Uh, let me just quickly line up my infantry and stuff. All right, so we can see where they um, where they spawn. Oh, this is the central square. But uh, we need to find the enemy. Oh, this is this kind of sucks. That uh, this blocks the way. We need to find the enemy cannons. That is the only real threat here. Here we see these British uniforms. Where the, where the hell are the cannons? I don't see them. Oh. 
Here we go. Oh, oh, this is perfect. This should be, we should have a decent field of view to hit him. So I'm only going to focus on the cannons for now. Come on, hit him, hit him. Oh, they're hitting me. Come on, they have four cannons. Let's quickly destroy them. Might have to move my army. Nice. We smash one of them. So this that's a good sign. Means we're um we have a good good field of view. We're at least decent enough. I've actually lost more troops than they have. Come on, hit it. One destroyed, three left. I'm gonna end up wasting most of my ammo on this, unfortunately. But, uh, but I have to. This is the priority. If they have cannons, then I won't be able to do what I have to do. Nice. Second cannon down. Let's get one more. Oh. Did, did this one get... Oh. One left. Let me just quickly destroy this gate. Um, cause if I run out of ammo, we won't be able to send the infantry through. Okay, okay, good, good, good. And then let's pause it, focus back on, where is it? Focus back on, we destroyed all of them? No, there's one left. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, they're hitting me. Oh, and that's the last one. And now we don't have to shoot these guys. They see, they still have troops left that are supposed to man the cannons, but no, no cannons to man. So now we can shift focus. Those guys aren't a threat anymore. Mm -hmm. There's this building blocking the way. So let's target these guys. Oh, are they are they actually sending them through the gatehouse? Nice, that was a good hit, direct hit, and I hope they get close. Then my infantry, oh, my infantry's already shooting at them. This is kind of blocking the way. Oh, their general's bodyguard is here as well, so if we kill him, that's going to devastate their morale. 18% of the enemy down. Look at all this smoke. It's, it's like my favorite thing about this mod. Really good smoke effects. Alright, so where is their general? He should have a different character. Might be this guy. Alright, we're at 20, 20%, 21. Nice. The general's gonna die pretty soon. Let's focus specifically on the general's bodyguard. And I ran out of, um, cannon ammo. Let's send in the cavalry. Hopefully my own troops don't accidentally shoot me. And we have to be quick before the enemy riflemen get close. 23%. Come on. Enemy general flees. Come on. 
All right, I need to bring him to safety, and then we're gonna we're gonna bring up. Um, We're going to bring in the Rifleman. Twenty-four percent. All right, so not bad. We've taken out the main threats. Um, enemy cannons are down. The general's bodyguard is down. I think we can just finish things off with the Rifleman if I send more of them. All right, they're shooting, but are they hitting their? Um, are they hitting their target? The angle might be bad. Might be worth trying something kind of risky. Let's try this. This is going to be crazy risky. Because we'll be um, very vulnerable. And these are pretty good units. Like the green jackets, also the British infantry standard unit is very good. Go, fire, fire! Enemy generals down. Okay, that's gonna crush the morale. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, these British regulars are really good. Um, let's bring in the cavalry. Hit them from the back, just in case. Hey, this is this is this is going pretty well. Big charge from the back. Friendly fire. Good. Okay, that was good. Okay, that could have gone way worse, because they had a lot of those infantry, but they were they were too slow. They were moving their troops and you can't shoot you can't shoot and move at the same time and they, they, they were for some reason they were trying to get way too close to me. Uh I guess the AI was paranoid that I was trying to capture this plaza. But yeah, that went really well. This could have gone so much worse if I hadn't focused on the cannons, if I didn't have a good uh, angle to shoot at the cannons. Because in these bigger European cities, there, a lot of the time there's like a like a high building blocking the way. And then it's hard. It's difficult to um, shoot the troops behind the buildings. But anyway, um, went really well. All right, Cape Town has fallen, and considering the size of the city, this should be a very wealthy place. It's like a proper city. It's not a town. We're getting 5K just from going in. Look at that. It's so well developed. Might be, might be one of the richest city, uh, cities in Africa at the same level as like Cairo. Yeah, look at that. We're earning 3k. And let's see if we can earn even more. Yeah, even more if I if I mess around with the taxes, but we'll we'll, we'll keep the taxes low. And we still have to deal with this fort army. Going to reinforce so that they don't sally out. That's enough. They should. We have three turns, so I can I can kind of relax for a bit. All right. Let's end the turn. I'm so glad the game didn't crash. We fought three siege battles so far, and no crash during any of them. So that that that's a sign that the mod is getting more stable. When I played it previously, it was always like like fifty fifty chance that uh, it, whether it would crash during a siege battle. Mm. 
All right. Let's move these cannons as well. What do we have? Construction completed. Can I... Oh! Good news. We can recruit another merchant. Unit recruitment. Where could I put the next merchant? What's a... What's the most valuable? What's the most valuable resource? Maybe over here. I guess we'll we'll find out later. We're earning so much money. Once I build a few more of these basic infrastructure buildings, I think I should start recruiting a lot more troops. I, lo I lost a decent amount of troops during that battle over Cape Town because of the enemy um, cannon. So that might be... Um, let's see. War declared. <clears throat> oh, this is kind of a random matchup. The Brazil and Morocco. Very random. And let's start. Let's start recruiting. Retraining could be useful. Mm. One more turn. So they're either going to surrender this fort or they're going to sally out and we'll have to fight them. Oh, wait. Before I forget, let's move this new agent that I recruited. We have to find a very profitable... Oh, everything's low. I guess because the agent has a low value. He's he's not very skilled. Low, low level. I don't know. Forty two, sixty eight. Let's try this spot. No, that's low. Let's 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 explore a bit anyway. Uh, Madagascar could be a really good target because it's an island. So once you take it, there's a low chance anyone else is going to attack it. But I don't think I even have a navy. That might be worth. Yeah, because all my other settlements, they either didn't have sea access or, for example, Lundi didn't have uh, a naval building. So, damn, that's another big benefit from taking Cape Town. Uh, three more turns and I'll be able to make one, my first ship. All right, let's see if this... Oh, they surrendered. Good, so we don't have to fight that fort battle. So now we completely control all of South Africa. And from now on, for the foreseeable future, should be like smooth sailing, just conquering, you know, rebel settlement buildings. Let me move most of my army from Cape Town.
ship. Oh yeah, let's let's keep moving. Let's explore this area. Oh, that's worth a lot. Yeah, that's a good that's a good one. Nice. Uh, two wars started. Indian princely states versus the Kingdom of Thailand. And United States versus Spain. I could have predicted that one. A lot of these bigger buildings are still being constructed. So I have a, I have a huge big army now. So there should be a settlement. There should be a settlement. I think in this area. So that that should be, that would be a good next target until we build up a navy to go towards Madagascar. Yeah. Uh, two more turns till we can get a ship. So let's do this instead. Take this place. Madagascar might have French troops. I'm not sure when they... Because they, they colonized. France colonized Madagascar during um, some time period. I'm not sure which. Alright. Let's keep building. Wow, we're earning a lot of money. Could I recruit another oh, agent limit? Send the turn. Come on. All right, can we build a ship now? Yes, yes we can. It's going to take three more turns. Faction destroyed. Canate of Kokan. That, that's like a faction here in the middle of Central Asia. I've never heard of it before. I think Russia probably destroyed it. All right, two more wars. Aus oh, that's a big one. Austria-Hungary versus Italy and also the Sultanate of Oman against Morocco, which is kind of surprising. They're pretty far away from each other. All right, let's find that rebel settlement. Oh, that, damn, that, that's a strong, that's a strong rebel army. More por Portuguese um, rebel units, they have cannons, maybe more. Let's keep exploring. Alright, end the turn. I should recruit some more troops. It would be nice to have a whole stack protecting me from the back, just in case. And then have another stack that I'm expanding with. That way I don't have to be paranoid about some... It's very unlikely, but I don't have to be paranoid about some like full stack army landing uh, like behind my back. Yeah, let's keep let's keep recruiting. War the clear well okay, I, I was talking about a big war. This is even bigger. Russia versus Germany. They're like that's that's the ultimate matchup. Where is that settlement? I keep I should have I should have recruited some, like like a, I, well, I don't have the building for um recruiting a spy. Uh, two two more turns till we have a navy, and we can use the ships to explore as well, because they they um they have much higher movement range than land units. Checking all these resources. Hmm. 
All right, end of turn. Should be should be close. Settlement should be probably on the coastline or close to it. Because I think it's supposed to be it's supposed to represent uh, a Portuguese like rebel colony. So it should be like here. Yeah, I was right. Yep. Lu Luanda. Minor city, so sizable city. Has cannons. Um pretty large garrison, so it's good I came prepared with almost a full stack. And I'm just gonna keep recruiting. Large town ready to upgrade. Definitely worth getting. And the turn. Come on. I'm a bit worried about um we saw we saw like a big rebel army right here. I think that's like part of the garrison that's like moving around. It could could attack me if I'm not careful. So it might be a good idea to take this place as soon as possible. Alright, let's see. Mexico and Spain are at war. Relations worsened with Great Britain. Well that's that's not surprising. We took some we took their main colony in Africa. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have ships now, so... Where's my navy? Oh, here. Look look at the range. I, I can take it so far. So let's, let's check out this area and see who controls it. Madagascar. And let's kind of scout it out. Where, where is the town? Let's wait a bit longer. Um, it's a bit risky because that that rebel army could could attack me while while I'm laying siege. So it could be um, could get overwhelmed. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, okay, good. It's going well, and we have five turns until they uh, leave. Let's keep recruiting. Uh, oh yeah, Madagascar. And we found it. So this is the this is the settlement. And it's kind of an interesting combo. They have um local African units, but they have cannons, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, it looks like France doesn't control. I think France maybe has like a... I think they might have like a fort, like a small fort with a small garrison, but we don't have to worry about that. So let's move this navy back to my... to safety. Bring it back to the... bring it, bring it back to the port. And we're slowly moving up in the ranking, still very low, still far behind Great Britain, but we're earning a ton of money. Let me end the turn and see what happens. But I'm um, definitely going to end the video pretty soon. And uh, like always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe. And, you know, next time, probably just going to do a siege of the place that I'm laying siege to, Luanda. Could be tricky. I don't know how many cannons the, the Portuguese garrison has. But, um, probably not too many. Should be, should be manageable. Really depends on if that enemy uh, rebel army ends up helping them out. Oh, we took, oh, we built this up. Uh, 
Whoa, huge war. Great Britain versus the United States. Wow. A lot of options to build up. Let's definitely do this. But yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, guys, and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.